Well, we need to welcome you back, and we're still with the big story for today. We're talking about the plan review of the 1999 Constitution by the 10th National Assembly and some of the major issues that we feel would be on the front burner in such review. Will the review really take the way that many others have taken and the people are less satisfied or dissatisfied with the outcome? Or we, are we going to have a total different approach to the proposed review of uh, the 1999 Constitution by the 10th National Assembly? It still remains the big question. But I still have him here. I'm talking of no other person, uh, but Chief Piles of EJ helping out and uh, making true sense uh, as it concerns some of the major issues on the front banner on the planned review. But anyway, our usual routine, let's go get a message from our sponsors. And when we come back, more discussion centered on the big story for today. <music> Home delivery. Make a wire Beneta gas plant for 080-6745-7890 and 080-5904-7722. Beneta gas plant. The tequele of gas matters. It's colorful, so colorful, wow. It's Ozo Furniture and Interior Merchant, a leading name for luxurious furniture and ultra-modern super showroom. Well stocked is now located near you for the sales and installation of long-lasting exotic and quality interior and exterior furniture for your living space, such as foreign turkey royal chairs and sofas, glass, wooden and marble royal dining tables and chairs, conference tables and chairs, executive office tables, reception tables, orthopedic office chairs, etc. Ozo Furniture and Interior Merchant has in stock royal king-size and queen-size beds, wardrobes, mirror consoles, wall frames and artworks for decoration, wine bars, big big TV shelves and TV stands, gym equipments like motorized gym, bicycles, gaming chairs, treadmills, outdoor swing chairs, etc. All at affordable prices. We deliver with our vehicles to make your home that cozy paradise. A super showroom along DSC Expressway opposite Platinum Banquet Place. Beside Ugbolo Poso Junction, Efru, Delta Store, 0806 394 or 0703 Who's a furniture and interior merchant for compatible home interior furniture experience? Well, those are our proud sponsors. We're talking about Benita Gas and Uzo Furniture. But remember, you can also be a part of it. The big story is big enough to accommodate all your businesses. Come over and let's see how we can talk business. But let's return to the business of the day. as a planned uh, review of the, the 1999 Constitution by 10th National Assembly. Uh, with the information we're getting, it might commence this week especially after they come back from their three-week Christmas and New Year review recess and that will be having them uh, push through to the fireworks of uh, getting not just laws but also reviewing the 1999 constitution and see how we can really address the issues. But anyway, before we went on the break, we addressed the issue that took center stage and that's uh, the VAT. But, but let's come to another major one that is most likely uh, to be reviewed and that's the electoral reforms. Yes, many would say the issue of um, making it mandatory for INEC uh, to upload um, real-time results on the IREV is, uh, is a must, and the issue of review. Now, do, do you feel the same, and will the review end uh, that turning issue that took center stage uh, since uh, February general elections of 2023? <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. The Electoral review, yeah, by the National Assembly. Mm. If they are going to do anything about the review of the 2022 electoral act, yes, I think first and foremost they will first of all invite the judiciary. <laughs> I don't understand. Yes. The judiciary should first of all 
let the legislative arm know what they want the electoral review should be. Have my reservation. Okay. In 2010, the electoral law was reviewed. And that what brought the introduction of card reader. Mm. As at that time, everybody looked at it as perfect. Okay. Good introduction from INEC. Mm. Take it to the National Assembly. Got approval. It came out as an electoral act. At the end of the day, good introduction by INEC. At the end of the day, the judiciary rubbish the card reader. That it was not ah, the Supreme Court verdict. Yeah. And that was you remember the 20, 2015 election? Yes. What threw away uh, our then president, good luck, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Nigerian man said, ah, I make. You tried, but the court has said this. Okay, the legislative and that's okay. We'll make it to be part of the law. law. In 2022, they made it part of the law and they called it Biva. Again, the 2022 electoral act that they want to review again now. Judiciary has said no. Judiciary threw away the Biva again. The Biva did not count in this one. That's why you now see many of the elections that were questioned, they said the petitioners were unable to prove beyond reason to without. prove their case. What was the introduction? I think INEC decided to introduce that. And the National Assembly now gave approval to it and make it to be part of the act. And that was what everybody jubilated about. But today, as we stand, the judiciary have rubbished it. They've rubbished the, 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 the beaver. I remember hmm. when they did the one of Oshu State hmm. election. I remember Deleke jubilated. He would dance after the election when he had been declared winner by the hmm. Supreme Court. Yeah recognizing the beaver. He done to also rock to go and congratulate uh, Muhammad Buhari. Muhammad yeah. Buhari. President, I remember president. vividly to say thank you. If not the beaver it will have been rigged out. That he thanked Buhari for the introduction of beaver. But twenty twenty three election judiciary have come again to say you prove beyond reasonable doubt. <laughs> Even you will see INEC then coming to the court and denying their certified true copy. Hmm. That is their own certified true copy that they have given to a petitioner. They have, so a lot of things. How you go to amend it? Well, how they go to amend it? Because the issue they are saying that for election to be credible. We need a situation where the vote should be counted. But a situation where results will be written from outside and using especially the security agencies mm -hmm. to put it through. And that is not acceptable. You give more work to this. No, look at <clears throat> when people come and start blaming politicians. Mm. That is politicians, they don't keep to the rule of the game and mm -hmm. all that. An average politician who is contesting is desperate to win. At all costs. At all costs. It's just like the football match. It's not left for the referee of the game, the umpire, to decide, no, you don't touch the ball with your hands. If you touch the ball with your hands, mm -hmm. it's a yeah. foul. Yeah. 
and this is what you'll be penalized about. With. Penalized about it. So for them to amend this thing again, let INEC and uh, judiciary sit down again. How do we want it for the people to, for the results? Let me tell you, had it been the judiciary, hold on, and also INEC head on to their own guideline in this particular election, by the next election, especially this uh, new election that is coming, mm -hmm. or even uh, the Kogi, mm -hmm. Imo, mm -hmm. and the uh, Bayasa election, mm, that were, that they would have been brought, they would have been better off. It would have been improving from one after the one. issue of saying results were written in Kogi before the election mm -hmm. started. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have even come up. But here we are. The judiciary is playing hot and cold. Of course, if that is what they do, then politicians can do away like I, we are started from. Mm -hmm. Politicians are desperate to win. At all costs. At all costs. So if the National Assembly they are going to delve into this issue of review the Electoral Act again. First of all, they should invite INEC and the judiciary. Let them make a draft how they want it. How do they want So, so wait, wait, let, 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 Let's really understand this because in our initial part of the elections, you, you said it. In 2010, yes, they came up with a very lofty idea. Uh, they introduced the card reader. Um, just before the major elections, we brought in the beavers. And funny enough, even the first beavers were used right here in Delta State Delta. at the by elections. And we saw the beauty of it. Now, are, are you saying if even the electoral umpire bring lofty ideas and there's a legislature execute them in our electoral laws, the judiciary sometimes have a way of interpreting it this is what they have done this time around fine but yeah, can, can, can't, can't 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 we put it in the laws that it will stand firm and firm only now the reason i ask before now immediately after the 2023 february uh, presidential polls many called for the upload of the result Retime on the IRF, which is the guideline of which the is the guideline we know in the electoral act. But we could also still remember that the electoral act still gives INEC yeah. the option. Yes. So if we now make it mandatory, can the judiciary read interpret it in, in another form? See when. We are student of government. <laughs> they said <laughs> we read that the law is what the judges say what it is. And that's exactly what we are experiencing. I told you just now how the judiciary blows hot and cold. They come in one, they were praised for holding because to avoid there is no way with the time limit. There is no way a contestant can, a prove. can prove. Can prove. If you want them to prove, then they must have to call all the witnesses from all their police units, all their, it's units, not all their award. No, it's not nah. it's that, is the, that is what the 2022 Electra Electra Act. Act decided to cure by the introduction of the beaver that strictly on accreditation. You, you understand? Yes. That it should be strictly on accreditation. Had it been. Had it been the judiciary head to this from the presidential petition down to down, that of the governors? There won't be an issue of saying they should go and amend the, the constitution. In this 2024. No. They will have given it. it will have, in fact, INEC will have improved on that. So you feel there's a so loophole that back, the judiciary is yeah, using? Yeah, the judiciary is a problem. It's not the politicians. Politicians are not the problem. Our judiciary, our judiciary, something drastic has to be. That's why I said, if they must <laughs> do this thing again. You introduce the judiciary. In fact, bring them, invite bring, them. Bring them in. Judiciary, how do you want it? But it's not yeah, because it, <laughs> but it's not their rights. Okay, for instance, we are not lawyers. So. 
But go to section 137 of the Constitution. Mm. It clearly stated that where there is original or a certified true copy it's okay. of a result, you need not to call oral mm. evidence. evidence and it's clear that even if we are not. Uh, our part, the expert will say, if you don't plant yam, you don't know the leaf of yam. But you know. That we are not lawyer, can't we read? Is that not so clear in the electoral act? It's that where there is no original, where there is original. Then there's no point. Or, or a certified to copy from yes. INEC. Mm. Duly signed. Duly signed. And stamped by INEC. That you need not to call other evidence. And what did the court do? In this tribunal, what did we see? They say petitioner. The petitioner who presented a certified true copy from INEC, who is the umpire. <laughs> you will say, oh, you didn't call a witness to come and prove it. It's, uh, they don't bastardize the 2020. That's why Team they are calling for review answer. again. You are just wasting the Nigerian money, money that is not available. You are just wasting it. It is the jury. That's why I said, if they must review the 20, uh, 2022 electoral act again now, the judiciary. So it's not a matter of reviewing, but huh? sticking with what's there already. Yes. Let them come. Invite them. What is wrong with this? Mm. Tell us what is wrong with this. You applied it you said in Oshu no. election. Mm. You failed to apply it in presidential election. You failed to establish uh, in, in other subsequent 2023 elections. Why? Tell us what is wrong with this. Because to avoid all this, you, need, you are able to prove your case. Mm, you are not this easy. They now said, Beaver, INEC, give us the total number. <laughs> Certify us the total number of people that we are accredited in a particular world. For instance, this, uh, this uh, unit, mm. you get the certi uh, certified to copy from INEC. Mm. How many persons? Say 200 persons. And they certified it. That is what is in the beaver. Mm. Meanwhile, the petitioner has petitioned that the result they have there is 400 mm. persons mm. that cast their vote. Mm. Is that not clear enough? With yeah. this certified to copy, not is it not enough to not uh, enough evidence? Said they did not call somebody from that unit to, to come testify. And testify. So that they don't even believe in what I next. You don't even believe what I next certified. So why are you? That's why I said, if National Assembly must thinker with that electoral act, they should invite the judiciary and INEC, please sit down with us. What do we want? What, what do you want? What, tell us what went wrong here. Tell us what, what, where do we go from here? So th th those are the issues, especially this. I did being we got it right in this 2020, with the 2022 electoral act, mm. we will not be calling for it. Yeah, an amendment. Now, when you amend it again now, uh, without the judiciary impute. <laughs> eh? you, you know, I'd, I, I remember when I was discussing one some time ago with uh, one of the judges. Yeah. He told me clearly that there are some laws made. If they find it difficult to interpret on their own, they would go back to meet the judiciary. What is the intention? What is their intention? On this issue, you see, when they get their attention, it is there. It's they more, uh, more clarity. That will not become the interpretation. But here, a law that is clear, they are very clear to give effect to it. No way, judicial. And what the judicial say it is, that is what it is, and that's where we are now. Judicial have said the 2023, uh, uh, the 2022 uh, electoral act is rubbish. Therefore. National Assembly will go all over again, spending their time, and money. spending money to go it all over. Only to go by 2024, 25 again, it will not be called rubbish from the judiciary. Now, how do we move forward? You rubbish card reader, you rubbish beaver, you rub everything you just judiciary continue to rubbish it. So let them go back this time around. <laughs> For Nigeria to move out, uh, move forward, uh, yeah. By, when it comes to the electoral, to election, mm. please, judiciary should come even formulate it how they want it, give it to them, let them put it in the law, so that let them for once. But of course, you still see them when the Supreme Court even interpret 
uh, a pre election matter. They still carry it down. And I think these are some of the things that even the judiciary should purge themselves of. of by dealing with those that bring some them of, in. not only their judges, the, but yeah, they should the find lawyers. a way to mm. deal with even those in the bench, the lawyers. Yeah. A lawyer, you will know it. They, this is a pre election matter. I am bringing it as You are part. calling uh, your, your client will come and meet you. You know it's a pre election matter by all standards and purposes. You will still come and use it to, to disturb the court. Uh, the court. What is that? They, they, in fact, they should formulate something that such lawyers we'll be should down. be fined seriously next time they don't go do that. So that they could be. You just imagine election conducted mm. almost a year ago. It's not the governors are sitting mm. and pretty well to say yes, we cannot. Uh, that is rubbish now. Okay, but anyways, as much as we look at that, we need to go on a break now. I'll <laughs> plead with you. We need to hold this interesting discussion and go on a break. And when we come back, we really wrap things up today on the show. As we look at not only that, but another major one that will be on the front burner, especially as it concerns the amendment, amendment, and that's the issue of the creation of state police. Let's go on a break.